Yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. Enjoy that club. Very R for strong depiction of the Mac material. They, this is what I picked up on hold for me for this week. This is actually going to be the last time in the month that I'm going to play stuff on hold. Because I'm leaving for North Carolina. This is the, actually the DVD that I did, or DVD overview, when I was visiting the Half Shrink Resort Public Library. I should have done it here, but um, whatever. That video will usually have to be on YouTube. I'm also going to be doing the DVD overview for the original 2002 DVD for Resident Evil. But this is, it's basically the first movie, but it's the 2004 DVD. This one's the second Evil Resident Evil. I'm going to look at the actual cover. And this is actually a two disc version from Nyack. Because I have I have another DVD that's from Nyack. This is the third film. This is actually the original single disc edition. I have this movie I have a two disc version of this film. This is actually a Blu-ray of Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil Afterlife. I can't show the inside or because the thing is stuck. Afterlife had get the hide and seek credits, create product processes, action for set type of behind the scenes feature, a commentary, and damnation Resident Evil film, which we'll be showing in Vetra after, um, show the next movie you have undead vis vision the pitch and fit track the lead scenes and outtakes the movie iq and additional behind the scenes featurettes yes. and this blu-ray is from the ficus gene library the spin valley library the next uh is the fifth resident evil film I do not have the version, the Final, Resident Evil Fallen Chapter or the reboot. This is this Blu-ray is from the Nanima Public Library. This film has outtakes, the undead creatures feature, the filmic, and the two commentaries, plus additional scene and scenes that were deleted or extended, plus behind scenes featurettes. that the DVD would not get. I mean, the blue express is what the DVD did not contain. And since this is Blu-ray, yeah. Uh. Excuse me. This is Damnation, an animated Resident Evil film. This DVD is also from the NAG Library. The first, the first, uh, Resident Evil anime, the first anime Resident Evil movie, uh, I was, uh, it's been, it's actually, I cannot, uh, because the New City Library has that, but they're currently in their temporary location, so I'm not able to, uh, view the film. I have to, if it's on a streaming service, yeah. I have to look on the streaming service. And here's Bandera, the third animated Resident Evil film. These bloody bonds throughout. 
This is from the Milltown Library. But anyways, here's the disc. That's it for the Resident Evil stuff. There are like seven of those, and then we had the Joy Life. Oh, that was nice. That. The Disney Library also has Make My Music, but I have the Newberg. I have the copy for Newberg Free Library, which is. An, this is actually probably the third thing I borrowed from them because I've also borrowed the game from them before. Bit twice. This, uh, Make My Music is also not on Disney Plus. This is actually the third uh, item that I borrowed from the Moffat Library because uh, I borrowed that one game from the library before and the Platinum Edition of Little Mermaid. Except their copy had the Diamond Edition disc instead of the Platinum disc, but they had the disc 2 Platinum Edition. This is the only movie that Wes Anderson did that was given the PG rating. Because the majority of uh, Wes Anderson's films are, are few of them are rated PG or teen. I think it was like, I think three of them were given the PG-13 reading. This is from the Livingston Manor Free Library. A, a Sullivan County library. That's part of the Vernpool Library, Cas Vernpool Casco Library System. Uh, Police Academy is 96 is, is the longest of the seven. And it's the only movie to be given the R rating. Police Academy 2, the first assignment, is the only movie of the seven that was given the rate, given the PG-13 treatment. And, and given the fact it... The... Police Academy has the R rating. And the PG-13 rating for the police academy. The rest of them were already PG. Police academies 3, 4, 5, and 6 do not have specific reasons why it's rated PG. Police academy from Mission to Moscow does. It has comic centrality. It's the shortest film. The, sh the, sh the shortest film. Shortest length. It's 82 minutes. Police academy 3. Please count me six. Both are 83 minutes. Please count me four is 87 minutes along with the second film. And 89 minutes for Please count me five. Most of the, uh, the first disc has Police count me, which is very R, and then the PG rated Please count me two, and then disc two has Please count me three, four, both are PG. These two, the five and six, the third disc, and then the, the son's film on his own disc. Lots of uh, negative reviews have been given for the police academy. This is the last movie uh, to be shown in this video because I'm not showing Robert Mars in this video. Well, it was on hold for me, but um, I'm going to be showing that with the Blu rays you see there. All three of these films each have a group commentary and theatrical trailers. The second one has two. The other two have one. And they're all way PG or team. With a third giving with up called humor. The Born Grey Discs. Also, the Naked Gun films, uh, also this, uh, this, uh, trilogy is actually from the Pine Bush Public Library. Pine Bush Library, which is, uh, in Pine, the Pine, which is located in Pine Bush, in Orange County Library. But that's it for this video.